Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm going to answer in this video question number three from the um, C1 Core Mathematics June 2017 International A Level Excel paper. Um, <clears throat> this question here is about sequences and recurrence relationships. So we've been told that a sequence A1, A2, A3, and so on is defined by A1 equals 1 and An plus 1 equals K times An plus 1 over An. And it tells us that N is greater than or equal to 1, where K is a positive constant. Write down expressions for A2 and A3 in terms of K, giving your answers in their simplest form. So basically, this is called a recurrence relationship. So you just, um, to continue the sequence, you have to put in the values of the previous term. So here, basically, what this means is, to get to the next term, <clears throat> you have to multiply k with the previous term, plus 1, and divide by the previous term. So this is the next term, and these are the previous terms. So I want to find what a2 is. So a2 is going to be k times... The previous term which is a1 plus 1 over a1 so now I just put the value of a1 in which is 1 so it's going to be k times 1 plus 1 over 1 which of course gives you 2k so that's a2 and we have to also do the same thing for a3 we have to find what a3 is now a3 is going to be k times a2 plus 1 over a1 which gives us k times, now we know that a2 is 2k now, so you've got k times 2k plus 1 over 2k. So in its simplest form, the k here will cancel with the k, and we're left with 2k plus 1 over 2. So that's a1, a2, and a3. So we found a2 and a3. Now we've got to go on to part b. Okay, so part b, it says given that a, the this means given that the sum of the terms from r equals 1 to r equals 3, okay, when you put that in here, so you're going to have basically what it means is the sum of a1 plus a2 and a3 is going to be 10. This is what this means. Okay, so basically when you put r into here, you're going to get 1. You've got to put r into here three times. So you're going to have 1, 2, and 3. So this basically means that a1 plus a2 plus a3 equals 10. That's what this means. Okay, the sum of these first three terms of the sequence that we have here is equal to 10. And the first three terms of the sequence we already have, we've got a1 is equal to 1, okay, as I told us here, and a2 is equal to 2k, and a3 is equal to 2k plus 1. So we know a1 is equal to 1, and a2 is equal to 2k, and a3 is equal to 2k plus 1 over 2. So if we put them into this formula here, we know that the sum of these is equal to 10. So we have 1 plus 2k plus 2k plus 1 over 2 is equal to 10. That's what this means here. The first term, the second term, and the third term, add them together, you get 10. Now to solve this equation, what I could do is I could um, multiply everything by 2, get rid of the fraction, I have 2 plus... 4k plus 2k plus 1 equals 20. Just multiply both sides by 2. So this gives me 6k plus 3 equals 20. So 6k equals 20 minus 2, which is 17. So therefore, k is equal to 17 over 6. So this is the answer. It says find the exact value for k, which is 17 over 6. Okay, let me write that a bit neater. And there we have the answer to that question. Okay, so this is a recurrence relationship question. And this is basically, this recurrence relationship tells you how to continue the sequence given a previous term. So the next term is k times the previous term plus 1 over the previous term. And that's how you can generate the next term and the term after that. And this is sigma notation means the sum of the terms from 1 to 3. Okay, a1, a2, a3 is equal to 10. Okay, so that's the answer 
Um, other questions from this paper, if I start answering more questions from this paper, you would find in the playlist that I'm going to place over here. Um, other questions on this topic of sequences um, in this playlist over here. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. And at the top of the page, I'll give you a link to some more um, you know, Pure Mathematics 1, P1 papers. Thank you for watching and see you soon.